In this video, you're going to learn about data types and the create command. In MySQL, when you create a table, you have to specify the data type. And there are four major types of data types. So the first type is int, which is an integer. So whole number without decimals. It is whole numbers like 10, 100, 200, 300, and so on. Right. The second one is float, which is which includes decimal, which could be 3.14 or uh, 5.8 or 25.200, whatever. Right. Anything that has decimals in it will be considered as float. Then you have varchar. Varchar is nothing but text information. So think of address, think of uh, your name, your full name, your last name, uh, product description that belongs to varchar. And then finally date, dates include dates, right? It could be hiring date, your customer order date, your shipping date, that will be part of those dates. And we'll take a look at this example when we create a table in MySQL. So just remember these four major data types. There are other different data types as well, but these four types, data types will be used in most tables, okay? The second concept that we want to learn is the create command, right? You want to create something. So the first thing that we want, we are going to do is we are going to create a database and then we are going to create a table and the syntax is fairly simple. You want to create something. So the keyword that you use is create, right? Which is this, you want to create a database. So you say, I want to create a database and then you give the name. You say, I want to create a database called customer DB. Now inside that you want to create a table. Let's say you want to create a customer table that has two columns, customer ID and customer name. You need to again use the create keyword so that MySQL knows that you're trying to create something. So you say create, what are you trying to create? You want to create a table. So you say create table and then you give it a name and we'll give it a name called customer. So you'll say create table customer. And this is where you start specifying your data type. So you'll say customer ID is an int. Uh, your name could be varchar. Now with these concepts cleared, let's log into MySQL and start creating a database and start creating the table.